So I'm going to talk just briefly about aromatherapy and a couple of different ways that you can use aromatherapy in your daily life, even if you don't have advanced training. Um, we also have some pretty interesting, innovative aromatherapy products that I'll show you as well. And this information is also available to download on our Apothecary Shop website if anybody is interested in sharing it with a friend. The uh, spray that I'm going to make, which can be used as a room spray or a body spray, and it's called uh, Spring Scents. It's from our Aromatherapy 201 program. We all know that aromas and smells can impact our mood, you know, how we experience things, our memory. Certain smells might make us hungry or sad or happy. Uh, they might evoke certain memories. All of that is aromatherapy. Uh, there is also the study of clinical aromatherapy, which is the use of therapeutic grade essential oils. Translated literally, aromatherapy means the use of aromas for their healing properties. And it's important to note that for clinical aromatherapy, only therapeutic grade essential oils can be used. So you really want to know how to assess the quality of the oils that you're using. And if you don't have that training, you want to be sure that you're using a trusted source. Um, not only that they're quality oils, but they are uh, also certified organic or sustainably wild crafted. So I'm sure a lot of you have used aromatherapy uh, fragrances uh, in a diffuser. Um, there are also therapeutic applications, and in some cases even internal use, where it's not contraindicated. Um, essential oils do contain powerful therapeutic constituents. There's the misconception that because something is natural, it's safe, and that's really not the case. So let's do this spring scent formula. Um, it can be used as a room or body spray. Um, what you use for the concentrate as a base might determine whether you're going to use it on the body or uh, just as a room spray. Um, to make an aromatic spray, you can actually use one of three bases for the concentrate. Most people will use alcohol. If you are using it as a body spray and you don't want to put alcohol on your skin, you can use a little bit of glycerin. And the issue is that the essential oils will not dissolve in water, so you need a base to help the oils uh, dissolve in the water. Uh, I'm going to use alcohol because this is just going to be for a room spray. You can also do a room spray or body spray with only water, but you have to really shake it vigorously each time before you use it because oil and water don't mix. So when you're making a spray, the first thing you're going to have is your aroma concentrate. So we're going to put uh, the oils that we're using in this blend in just a little bit of alcohol and just get a sense of what it's going to smell like, what the fragrance is going to be. And uh, then we'll add the water once we like the fragrance. So you're going to use a glass bottle in most cases because if you use plastic, the essential oil will uh, stick to the sides of the bottle. So I'm going to use just 5 ml, which is just this small bottle uh, of alcohol, really just to help uh, dissolve the essential oils. You really just need a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the alcohol in the bottle. So then I'm going to follow the formula and add the drops of oil to what's going to be my concentrate base. Essential oils are expensive. You want to use them sparingly. And most essential oils will come with what's called an orifice reducer in the top of it. And that is really to help you keep from spilling it. So lavender is 15 drops. Then we're going to add orange oil. And we're going to do 10 drops of orange oil. All of the citrus oils you really want to keep refrigerated, um, and other oils like rose or jasmine that you're not going to use a lot of, you do want to keep refrigerated. Then we're going to do lemon, which is actually one of my favorites, lemon and bergamot. And lemon we're going to do 10 drops also. And grapefruit, and grapefruit we're going to do 10 drops also. Nutmeg is three drops, and nutmeg is an oil that really is a powerful oil. Some oils, what we call base notes, have a much more robust, uh, lasting power, and they will really dominate a formula. So you always want to use essential oils sparingly, 
And if you're trying out a formula for the first time, you really want to start by just adding drop by drop and really looking at the formula, and rather smelling the formula and seeing how you like it. Um, because it can be difficult to go back. You know, sometimes less is more with aromatherapy. And that's basically making your aroma concentrate. Anytime you make a formula, um, particularly if you're doing it for the first time, you want to write down what you're putting in because you could end up with the perfect formula and you haven't written it down, so you can't recreate it. So with the just the alcohol and the base of oils, it's a little bit difficult to really get the sense of how it's going to smell, but you will kind of get the freshness of it. And making aromatherapy products is as much an art as it is a science. Um, it's a lot of trial and error, and particularly making lotions, creams. You really need to just experiment um, with different uh, oils and different bases and find really what you like. With something like a room spray, you really have a lot of artistic freedom because for room sprays primarily, you want it to smell good. So now I would uh, usually add distilled water, uh, particularly if it's going to be a body spray. I'm going to use, uh, we have filtered water on our tap because we're just going to be using this as a room spray. And you want to just top up the bottle with water. And just be sure to leave enough room at the top to put your spray top back on or whatever top you're using without overflowing the bottle. That's one of those trial and error things. And then you want to just give it a good shake. Oh, that smells good. Just very springy. Um, it's got a lot of top notes in it, so it won't linger too long. It's just a fresh kind of spray. Great if you are working in an office. Um, I just keep a spray at my desk and when I feel like I need some freshness, just give a squirt. And once you have this, you know, if you want a little more lavender or maybe a little more citrus, maybe a little more spice, you just add a drop or two of another oil. Be sure to write it down until you really get the perfect formula. And that's just how easy it is. Um, I did want to just point out a couple of other products that we have. Uh, Maricela asked me about the essential air diffuser. For anybody who's in a uh, clinical practice where they're diffusing oils or uh, trying to diffuse in a large room, whether it be an office or home, the essential air diffuser is one that is most efficient because it actually diffuses the oil in a line with your olfactory system and how it can absorb smell. So it only diffuses every five minutes and it only sprays enough oil to give you the uh, fragrance and therapeutic uh, benefits through inhalation but not overwhelm you. It is also a diffuser that's not heat-based, uh, so you're not heating the oils. It's an pre air pressure diffusing system. The other thing that I wanted to point out, which I don't know if any of you have used before, are these patches, natural patches. And they're actually transdermal aromatherapy patches. And they have several different blends. It's really an innovative aromatherapy product. They have them for coughs and colds. You wear the patch, and it's just adhesive. It has adhesive on the back, adheres to your skin. On your chest for coughs and colds, there's one for PMS cramps, stress relief, focus, and energy. Is it latex free? It is. I'll pass one around so that you can take a look, and then I do have some samples if anybody wants to try it, because they're really neat. We've carried them for about a year. We all use them around the office, and they're really a great product. Does anybody have any questions? Well, if you're interested in learning more about aromatherapy, the Aroma 101 is a great introductory class, and then we do offer also professional programs in aromatherapy. Doreen mentioned or did her presentation on tincture making, um, and, and I've done this on aromatherapy. We have a class which is called NAT 201. It's a certificate in nutrition, body care, and herbalism. And it provides an introduction into everything we offer in addition to the foundation in holistic nutrition. So that's also a great starting point to learn a little bit about everything.